Attorney General also shedding some light on why several government agencies have been listed as creditors in court documents in FTX's bankruptcy filing following the fall of the former cryptocurrency giant. The Office of the Attorney General, the Ministries of Finance, Works and Utilities, Environment and Natural Resources, along with 100 Bahamian companies inclusive of a local bank and two law firms, have all been listed. Pinder explains how government agencies ended up in the lot. We didn't make any filings on behalf of the Attorney General's office in the matter um, as creditors. I would presume that those creditors were listed um, voluntarily by FTX themselves. Um, the only indebtedness that I am aware of to the government with respect to the FTX matter is just some real property tax that may be owed on the properties, uh, which we um, certainly will be compensated at the appropriate time with that. This is purely a debtor-creditor situation. Uh, there's no negative light. There's no positive light. It is a function of a liquidation proceeding, uh, and it's nothing more and it's nothing less.